nice to meet you. How are you doing? Great. Are you excited to be out here tonight? Yes, it's wonderful. Yeah, absolutely, yes. What was it like being the voice behind these great iconic characters? You know, growing up, I was, you know, I loved Cinderella and Snow White, and, you know, when I got cast as Belle, I, I hadn't really put it together that I'm going to be part of that, that legacy. But I really love the fact that Belle was kind of like me, you know, she was odd and loved books and strong willed and brown eyed, the first brown eyed princess, that she's a little bit different. What didn't go after the man in town that was the good looking guy that wasn't such a nice guy. It's true, it's a great message. <laughs> it is, it a, great is a great message because it, she was a role model for my daughter who sat on my lap, watched this film when it, 20 years ago, and now my daughter is 27. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. I know, isn't it? What was it like being the voice though? I mean, how different is that from acting on screen? You know, you, is you it know, harder or easier for you? I, it's really the same. You know, we were talking about that a lot tonight. It's, you have to encompass the character, and if, if you don't encompass the character through your whole being, whether there's a camera on you or not, it won't come through in the voice. Do you guys have any tricks how you get into character, especially since you're not actually the character? <laughs> well, you know, uh, I've been teaching for about 22 years and the last five or so years at NYU, and um, I wouldn't call it tricks. Uh, but there are little things that you do to to bring that world into your mind. And, and the great thing about voice acting is that you can close your eyes. So as a writer and a director, I can close my eyes and actually see it and how I would shoot it. And, and suddenly I was there. That's Wonderful. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank Have you. fun inside. Thank you.